You guys have been amazing from the day you walked in the door. We could not say one thing did better than you. You guys worked tremendously. <laughs> um, so congratulations to all my babies. So, and real quick, we did get the judges something as well. So we got you guys something, and it just states your name and basically um, thanking you for being a judge in the 2013 Steam Dream Team Challenge. And Mr. Wright, we have one for you as well, sir. So when you come back, you'll have one on your desk. So we appreciate you being a sponsor of it. So, I, so I'll show you, I'll send you a closer picture of it after the um, presentation. So um, I guess if, you know, we would like now for you guys to close this out, we miss, you know, if you guys have something you want to say, um, no. by all means. Sure, you know, um, every day we hear stories about our young people. Many of them are stories about their brilliance, and far too many of them are stories about their challenges. This is the story we ought to be telling about our children every single day for anyone who will listen. These are our kids in Prince George's County. I couldn't be more proud of, of, of who they are and what they can accomplish. I couldn't be more proud of, thank you parents who are in the room. You are as equally responsible, if not more so, for having these kids here and what they've achieved. Um, and with a, with a vision like this for our future, I couldn't be more confident um, in my role uh, uh, in, in the school system to know what a great direction we're headed. So thank you, young people, for being as brilliant as you are. Now, he tried to steal my thunder <laughs> because I'm always talking about telling our story here in Prince George's County. Prince George's County has an absolutely wonderful story to tell and it's displayed here with these 10 young people and the six mentors from BSU. <laughs> Unless you can't tell, I am an alumni of Bowie State and because uh, you have mentors from Bowie State, I know that uh, you had an absolutely wonderful, wonderful opportunity here. Although we need to see a little bit more girl power coming in from BSU, I'm very strong on that. So um, next year, Mr. Wright, I expect to see some women from BSU on this team. Um, I wanted to just, just talk about uh, or, or mention that we have amongst us today our best and our brightest here in Prince George's County. And that's what each of you are. Remember that you are always a shining star, and um, we expect you to go out and do great things. I wanted to make mention that you all made, um, in case you didn't know, and for those in the room who don't know, you made government technology. Right, Mr. B Mr. Wright? In the magazine? Yeah. Absolutely. It was a great article if you haven't seen it. It's a great article talking about the wonderful things that you all are doing here what you did this summer to help solve some of the problems here in Prince George's County. And so um, all of you who are around the room, I encourage you to find that article in government technology and share it with your neighbors, particularly those of you all who may not work for the county government, because uh, we need folks outside of Prince George's County to know just how the things that we already know and that we're great. And um, these young people display that. I wanted to um, just also mention that this particular program has just been wonderful as we saw here and the county council certainly believes along with the county executive and we made sure that we put some additional money in so that we can make sure some of your, your colleagues, your peers have opportunities such as you have learned, um, you've had this summer to learn how to be ladies and gentlemen, to learn how to solve problems, to work, learn how to work collaborative, collaboratively together, and to teach old folk like us how to use some technology. <laughs> um, somebody's gonna have to show me about how to, how to get a FaceTime app. Um, so I just want to um, encourage you to continue to expand your, your world, to, um, to look around you, to bring someone along because you're rising, bring someone along, because if you can't help someone next to you, then you're not doing your job. We all need help, everyone needs a little help, so when you can pick someone up, then we all rise because of that. And then make sure that you come back home and you bring what you've learned back to us so that Prince George's County can continue to rise. Thank you. biggest joy was finding out that I was not a senior citizen. <laughs> um, I want to say I was 
tickled to death when I heard that there were more than five girls on the project. One of the biggest challenges we have is getting women to be attracted to the field of STEM. And um, the reason for it, because the field itself is not attractive for women. And so to be, to see that, I just automatically told my dean, I said, we're going to have incoming six young ladies coming to boo it. <laughs> um, the other thing I want to say is I'm always, I'm always looking at the technology because that's what I teach all day. What you guys did in that short amount of time is just amazing. The action that you had a working product, you actually had your colors synced, you had synced, you had, you had a sync up to you, and you're talking about four and a half weeks. That is a lot. We have 15 weeks semesters that may or may not have happened. So that means that there was a lot of knowledge about, and you actually probably got some help as well, I'm sure, but all of that to pull together was more than just fascinating. And it just shows me what can be done if you put your mind to it as well as technology. I know sometimes we're afraid of it, but we've got to face it, it's here. And so to put it together, to make it so that it's user friendly for everybody to use and all the different aspects of how we can actually put it in place in school and other places, was just huge, and, and you can take what you have and build on it. None of it is here to stay, it's not stagnant. We can keep going and make it dynamic. So I just wanna applaud everybody for the diligence that went into creating something that actually was a working product. So my comment is, is that we all know in the United States that we have a challenge in making sure that we have type of talent that's going to drive innovation. And you guys made this really easy for me as, as a partnership between government and industry, you know, myself representing Lockheed Martin and I have colleagues in the room as well. Uh, you know, I get to speak to a lot of people and they're coming in that classroom uh, the first day when we were talking about prod, Microsoft project and presentations. Uh, it hit me almost immediately this was going to be an easy job. And the next part of the job that you've made easy is something like this presentation today. One of the things that we all have a challenge for is to show how our talent will integrate into what we have as challenges in the workforce today. And I think that we have a bright future by just looking at the litmus test that you guys have become to say, yeah, if we do this right, this will be an easy problem to solve. So I thank you very much for bringing what you bring to the table and to our future. Let, let me just close by saying what a great presentation and as the uh, chair and everyone else has said up here, how proud we are of you and what you're doing and what you're going to do. Uh, certainly want to thank Bowie State uh, uh, for, for coming in and showing these young folks uh, what opportunity lies ahead of them and certainly want to thank you for your participation and, and giving us a chance to see your future. Uh, that, that means a lot to us and, and like the comments of the chair, I want you to come back and bring that, that skill and, uh, to Prince George's County. Uh, Bernard and, and to Sandra, I want to thank you for putting this program on. Yesterday when we had the students in, uh, for lunch, we were talking and asking questions and one of the things I asked them was, did you have fun? Um, because if you had fun at this job, then you know that's what you want to do. Because if you love what you're doing, and I think we can say that about the things that we do, um, it won't be a job. And this right here was an example of what kind of programs we want to put together for our young people. Not just to get a paycheck, but to meet and dialogue with other folks and to collaborate, but also have fun at it. And so um, we're very proud of you, very proud of the program that, that was put together for the summer for our, for our kids. Um, and we look forward to having you back. And, continue to have fun. Thank you. You see what, you know, one of the beautiful things about us being judges or elected officials, we almost did no work, no research. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for coming to support the program. We definitely appreciate it. So, um, Mr. Wright, anything else before everybody leaves? Go win. <laughs> Great. But I just want to tell everyone, I mean, I know that you did sacrifice a good part of your summers, even though you got paid for it, mm -hmm. but uh, you had to wake up early, you didn't get to text and do everything else that you wanted to do during the day. So enjoy the time between now and the time that you go back to school, but I do look forward to hearing your success stories from this upcoming school year. You all did a great job this summer, and I can't be more proud of you. And thank you.